Does the high point 995 work? Before we talk about how it works or if it works, we also need to talk about who this gun is for and what this gun is. I think it's important to have a good understanding of the firearm prior to getting into whether or not it works. This is one of the cheapest pistol caliber carbines on the market. This one was 280 some dollars at Palmetto State. If you wanna go check that out, take someone outdoors.com forward slash links, click Palmetto's button and there you can go look at it. Uh, 280 some dollars MSRPs for over 300. Uh, so around that price point. So it is a very budget pistol caliber carbine uh, in comparison to like a kel or something else. Really one of the most budget ones on the market. So as a reviewer, before we dive into it all, I want to give you guys a little transparency. I think it's important for me to tell you where I'm coming from on the stuff I review and uh, my relationship with High Point. High Point doesn't know who I am. They didn't send this gun out. This was a loaner, so I didn't buy this either. I just got this specifically for the purpose of testing and trying this thing out. Why you get this, why you buy it, why you pick it up. It is a shooter for someone that is looking for planking guns, that is looking for an inexpensive planking gun. If you already have 100,000 nine millimeter pistol caliber carbines, this is probably not for you. This is budget, as budget as you can get. It is a high point. Doesn't mean it's bad, but it just, it is a high point. And if you already are sitting on five different nine millimeter carbines, it's probably not for you. It could in theory be used for um, self-defense in a home scenario, but I wouldn't really chalk it up for that either. It is more of a strictly a fun gun, maybe a varmint gun if you put a red dot on it or something and you're looking to just shoot at pesky critters in your yard. It is something that you could use for that. I mean, it might be a good training gun for a youngster that you have that you want to teach how to shoot and teach how to manipulate a firearm. It's not super heavy, uh, but it could be manipulated by someone smaller that is just looking to be able to hold the gun up considering how how big it is. Kind of like if you watched my SKS video, I recommend the SKS because of how it could easily be held and used by someone younger uh, to teach. And this is the same sort of scenario. You can get on it easier if you are a smaller person. It's really for the training, the inexperience, maybe not the complete inexperience, but someone looking for a budget pistol caliber carbine that doesn't have a lot of them. And then also, I guess it could be used for just fun. Like you don't really need to have a super crazy reason to buy one for $285. There's definitely more expensive firearms out there that, that are pistol caliber carbines that shoot into the thousands like the Diamondback DB9. That's over $1,000 for a nine millimeter AR. $285 at Palmetto. This can really scratch the itch for someone looking for a pistol caliber carbine that you can take out on a Sunday with your family and shoot in the backyard at little cans or cups or pine cones, whatever you got laying around. Uh, and you can do it fairly cheap too. Nine millimeters, very inexpensive. I think for 50 rounds at the store, I just noticed it was like 15 bucks. So you can buy like 100 rounds of ammunition for $30 and you can go plank for a solid, you know, 30 minutes to an hour and have fun with your family and just enjoy it. So if you do not have a place to go out and shoot guns with your family, maybe it's something you should consider looking into. So one of the big sponsors of the channel is Classic Country Land and they will be able to help you out with that. Classic Country Land is a seller of parcels of land. They do owner financing. They've been in business for over 20 years. You can check them out at the link in the description. Big thank you to Classic Country Land. Go check them out to find you some land to shoot with your family. What are the high points on this high point 995? Some of the crucial things are the barrel length. It is a 16 and a half inch barrel, so you don't have to worry about any pistol things. You have a 10 round magazine that comes with the high point. We got some pro mags here that do 15, which do not come, you have to buy them separately. You have a last bolt hold open. You have a safety, or a last bolt hold, I can't speak, last round hold open. You have the safety here, you have a trigger, and you have some interestingly placed Picatinny pieces. The one across the top is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you can run sights, run red dot, whatever you want to run on it. Odd placed one is this one right here, right below the barrel. If you go to High Point's website, you can kind of see people running lights and stuff on it. I, I don't know. I don't really like that. I wish High Point would have put a pick piece on the sides here. I, I know it's very quad rally, but I mean, I'd rather have a light on the side than 
attached to this odd piece, pick piece right here at the bottom. There's also one here where you see I'm running an angled foregrip for the video. This whole back piece right here is removable. So if you do want to run a red dot, you just take these little uh, Allen screws out and um, just pop that off. It's, it's nothing crazy. You, this is pretty much a polymer gun. All this is polymer. Uh, you can see all the screws that hold it together. The grip is a little textured. It's not crazy. The, the super texturing is right up here, kind of where the crease of your thumb is. So you can get a good grip on it there. But that texturing doesn't follow down to the whole entire pistol grip. Working your way back, you have a skeletonized stock you can see here. You can see me through it. And then a very springy, uh, springy stock right here so i guess when you're taking all this super heavy recoil from this nine millimeter you can just spring around and whatnot the sights they are adjustable this sight up here and just looking through it when when i first got it i recommended putting a little green dot on the site to acquire it better and that's what ended up happening to it and i think it's improved it drastically Overall, you know, it's a it's a nice little uh, firearm. Now, the the as I had mentioned, the uh, pick pieces on the side would be an improvement, but overall, it has all the features you should kind of look for when you're looking at a $285 pistol caliber carbine. The moment you've been waiting for. The reason you click this video. Does the High Point 995 actually work? Does it shoot? Does it perform? The short answer to that is yes, it does. It performs. Does it perform? Great. Well, from my experience, the very first shot I shot out of it, it had a failure to eject. I think it might have been a magazine issue. One of the things I think that could have cured that magazine issue, potentially, I, I don't know for certain, but I think, uh, if I was wearing Basement Operator Company for that first shot, I wasn't wearing it. I had a normal t-shirt on. Uh, Basement Operator Company is our apparel line here, and it does improve the reliability, potentially, theoretically of the firearm or at least your ability to manipulate the firearm uh, so go check it out at basementoperator.com there you can find comfort line that line improves your ability to drink beer on the couch with your buddies or potentially play pool um, the tactical line improves your uh, dexterity your accuracy your functionality your ability to be a larper uh, so go check out basement operator there and uh, we'll really appreciate it and you will appreciate it because you're buying some cool stuff but in in reality uh, the thing didn't do too bad. Like I had mentioned before, it uh, did kind of have a <laughs> failure to extract, but I think it was a Pro Mag. I'm going to continuously use this over and over again. No problems with this one, but I do think one of these Pro Mags is bad. There's been a lot of buzz around Pro Mags being sucky, so maybe it's just a Pro Mag thing, but... I guess it is what it is. Other than that though, it has worked, especially for that $285 price point. It shoots, which is an important thing. Now, <laughs> it does shoot. Does it extract sometimes? But it does shoot, it does work. You can play with it, you can, I say play. You can plank with it. You can do all the fun things you wanna do with a $285 pistol caliber carbine. Is it the most awesome, tactile, tactical, lightweight, um, smooth operator, basement operator maybe, but not real operator firearm. <sighs> not, I mean, there's, I think there's better stuff out there, but I also think this is not a bad option if you want to get into it for cheap. Speaking of cheap, you should go check me out on my Instagram. There I post stories of awesome deals online from anything from like this high point 995. So go check me out there to stay in the loop on deals. Also, you cannot train, shoot, or LARP without land, so make sure you are checking out Classic Country Land. You hear that? How's the sound of me and your mom in bed last night? Peace.